It's everywhere, everywhere we look. Ads, on the internet, on our handheld devices, everything we see around us, somebody designed. That's so incredible, that's so amazing. So right now I'm working on a single stream recycling project, which is uh, showing people how to recycle with all-in-one recycling. My project here is a self-portrait that we did in class of how we view ourselves. Uh, actually, we are doing design for school, like the poster for the school program of the art. The only thing like is getting idea. We start with an idea. I just feel like getting idea is hardest and it takes me the longest. The design was a harder choice for me. I, I started with, with several things and I ended up going somewhere, you know, totally the opposite direction. This is the Associate of Arts program for uh, transfer students who intend to go on for a bachelor's degree usually a Bachelor of Fine Arts, a BFA, in graphic design. I know I love art. I wanted to do something different than other people. Then I know I have the potential. So I kind of just like, oh, maybe graphic design. Well, graphic design is um, a marriage between words and images to communicate a message. So for the project, uh, I, was, I had to make a poster, I had to make a sticker for a, a trash bin, and we had to do uh, logo variations. It's typography and fonts and illustrations all coming together with photos for the common message of communication. It's really the marriage of words and images. And I didn't know where to start. The thought process behind my project was basically how do I see myself on a daily basis. Projects for me are a really important part of learning graphic design. And then I do other projects which are more creative problem solving conceptually. Every one of us is creative. And you know, what is creativity? Not judging what you're doing, being uh, curious and playful and inquisitive. Doodling, little thumbnails every time is the best place to start. Writing words down, letting your mind wander, letting one thing lead to another. Creative process is a process, meaning you have to do something. Don't just sit there waiting for a divine intervention. So um, why not putting zebra in my um, poster and use like um, different color to cover the zebra? So you are unique, you are zebra, you are unique, but if you are colorful, you are much unique, like much special than anybody else. The most creative people are the ones that allow themselves to think freely. And that's the zone you want to get into. Creative process is hard. The more you practice it, the better you get at it. So we encourage it from the get-go. Once you get your idea down, you feel like you are just, you know, you've got it. You can nail this down. Um, I see myself, you know, as a Spartan, as a 300 warrior, as you can say. And uh, my job is to show graphically what single stream recycling is. So I started by researching and, you know, researching colors, researching uh, single stream recycling, and just trying to find the best way to show people environmentally how to single stream recycle. To create this piece, uh, what we did first is we, I took a picture of myself, and then from there, after we took a picture, I kind of just cartooned it so that it would look like me, but still had my characteristics. And then we learned the importance of typography. Typography is what language looks like. It's lettering, it's different fonts that you would choose. It's really helping to make sure that you can pick the correct font that would match conceptually whatever you're doing with a specific piece. And I had to put something on the, on the poster to deliver my uh, information. Not only the image, also the text. Using two different style fonts, one thicker, one thinner, um, really works together. It just looks nicer. It's more visually appealing uh, to use different sizes, different colors, but then keep it very, you know, lined up. Typeface is very important for a graphic designer. It's a green, brown, and orange that I use. Uh, I picked those colors because they're, they're environmentally friendly colors. And um, as you can see here, I have the Spartan insignia. I created like the Zack Snyder background you see here, and the, the Spartan sword, which is iconic to Sparta, and then of course the crimson red. But actually, when you put the color in, you just have to know the program. 
I kind of just go around the, the chart of the like primary, secondary. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, after I had the design and the color choice, it was really just, just making the layout of the project look good. People who have ideas and not just visual skills are the ones that will ultimately succeed as graphic designers. I always had a designer like thought process and I thought what well, I could take my ideas out of my head and put them on a computer or paper. The fact is to design. I mean, I love to design things. I mean, and the fact to do this, I mean, if I would have never took this class, I probably would have never been able to create something like this. Um, it's not just about the visual, it's about the concepts. But I learned so much more while I was here, and I think that my designs have been, have become better because of him and you know, the other teachers here. Here at Broward College, I really see our graphic design program as a really good backbone for a design education. I feel like I've learned so much here and I'm so thankful for the teachers. Every, everyone is excellent here.